Yo. Send in goat What's a goat G6 rope? Now. What is a goat rope? That, yes, that is what I asked. What is a goat I, rope? I don't know what a goat rope is. Send in goat team I find that now. truly difficult to believe. We're ready for our briefing. Okay. You seriously don't know what a goat rope is? Send in goat team six now. That is correct. A shitty situation, basically. Okay. Let Liru stand right there. Send in goat team six now. Okay. So, uh, the current situation is the UN garrison here, which I lead, uh, is severely understaffed because of the massive attack that happened to some third-party faction that both ravaged the UN force and the local government's force. So now the UN is trying to pull out with you on that C-130. The issue is that it took some severe damage in the ensuing firefight, and its engine took too much damage for us to be able to take off from this airfield. Thankfully, though, a C-130 crash landed in the town of Kness, uh, how do you say that? Kinsella. 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 And we're going to hope that it has some engine parts that we can rip off and use on our C-130 to at least get it running to get us out of this country. So while I handle what remains of the UN garrison between the airport and the northern position, you guys are going to be sent to go get those parts and bring them back, and then we'll hand them off to our engineers and hopefully get it repaired and be able to leave. Now, we do know that the uh, town of Kinsella had some hostiles coming from it as we were defending, so it is expected to be occupied by these unknown rebels. So you might have to fight your way to the crash site. Do we know specifically we where the crash site is, or it's just somewhere in the town? It is somewhere in the town. Uh, you might spot some smoke, but otherwise, I don't know. I saw that thing go down. I'm pretty sure it landed on the northwest end. But I'm not positive. Do we have any vehicles to bring back any... Are we just going to secure the crash site and someone else is going to come get the parts? I don't think any of us are aircraft mechanics. If you find something cool, if not, call me and I will send someone over. We don't have any vehicles, though. They were all shot up. All right. So we'll go secure the crash site and then see what we can do. As anything else? That is it. Alright. Bravo, take us out. Push west, northwest. Disregard one minute. Delete the BMP Bravo, take then. us out. Push west, northwest. We had guys coming from under the water tower over there at three or 295 All right. at the end of the firefight. So be wary. So Let's move up to the hotel first. And then we'll move into the town from there. Sorry, guys. We'll set out northwest. Kindle is in your... All right, where's Hudson? Because I had a copy of his body, too. Let's go. Well, we got to get out of the base. So go out of the exit over. Push out of the exit over here west and then cut north into the trees. All right, let me do the hard part. Hi, Zeus. Yes. Cut straight north along the fence. Six now. Uh, the good work, man. Because this thing has insufficient resource bug. And let's see if that lasts. Oh, right, I have to find one that'll actually... But if I move that... Okay. That's gonna be annoying. So how am I gonna do this to get the animation I want? Do you want us to skirt around the outside of this city? 
No, we're we're going through one way or another. Just mm. push straight towards the hotel and we'll reorient. Casavo, thank you for the eight month resub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. All right. Perfect. Attach. And we just have to hope none of them die. But yeah, that's the angle I want. Cool. All right, side relations. And now we can start the actual operation. Team two is gonna cross the road here. We don't necessarily need to fucking join that firefight. We need to find the crash site. Let's get up on the roof of this uh, hospital building across to the west and then see if we can get eyes on the smoke. Get on the red brick hospital building, not the shitty gray one. Oh, those are pilots. I mean, he's the engineer. Team 2 is going to hop the wall here. Yeah, crewman. Two, if you want to get up on that hospital building that you're next to, the gray one, go left, and we'll get up on the red one. Team two copies. All right, so like I said, a lot of minor stuff I got to work on. And we'll make that go from there. This is two, or this is one. I see the fucking crash site directly up the road that we're on now. So go ahead and start moving up the road on the left side. We're engaging guys in the middle of the road t right now. Change two copies. All right, let's go ahead and get back off the roof. He wants us to move up. They got eyes on the crash site. Check that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, they're gonna go get the parts. When that happens, I'm gonna stall them here in a firefight. Uh, this is the government faction. They're trying to secure the crash site, and then the local, uh, faction here is also all around this. Um, so they're gonna come in. Uh, the reason that there are copies of their bodies here, I will not explain yet. That is for a big reveal at the end of the campaign. But... When they come, uh, when they get it, I have to do something to, uh, the UN. So, uh, from there, we'll move to the main focus of this campaign. Because, like I said, the first mission was pure setup. And the first half of this mission is also, well, actually, the first third of this mission is going to be pure setup. For spooky stuff. So now we're going to... Set up the spooky. I want it to play the sound bite, but they might go unfazed. I am invisible, right? And I disattach that thing from me. Yes, perfect, okay. Yeah, so the fog will slowly kill you, but I'm not sure if the AI will respond to it. So I do want to try to keep them out of it if I can help it. Uh, south, south one more street. I don't want to come up in the middle of these guys that are fighting. 
push south one more street, and then we'll continue we pushing west. Out. On top of the building, Barry, they got it fortified. Hmm, does that, did that red guy run off? No, he's still uh, there. Good. We got okay. reports of weird shit going on here from my uh, other guys. <laughs> Rogers, probably just the wind doing weird shit. Keep pushing south to the next street. Copy, we're pushing now. We got, um, Contacts were taken out. We got a BRDM coming up out the road from the west. Disregard AGS. Yeah. Where'd I put that AGS? Because I genuinely do not remember. Oh, it was a uh, static vehicle, that's why. I do have a few springboards here. Team 2 is clearing the buildings we took contact from. They are occupying this building. The heck happened? At the, so I think the springboard knocked. Yeah. All right. Oh, Cherry just got nailed by that dishka. Make sure they don't get away from me. <laughs> but Mr. Squoogee, thanks so much for the Reese of my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I hope you're getting a kick out of this scenario. One or two, what's your status? Team 2's got one time casualty down. Uh, we clearing the building that we were they're taking here. contact from. Uh, Roger, there's still guys in that building. There's friendlies clearing that building. I said that. Doing? Clearing this building and we're moving. Yeah, okay, he's getting blood. All side yeah. towards the west. Check that. We are pushing west on your south side. Yeah. Pull some rebels in. Uh, we're gonna push about a hundred more meters and then we're gonna pop back out on the road. All right. So yeah, basically this is all about doing some minor spook stuff, having a third party fat, uh, excuse me, a three-way firefight going on. him for now so he doesn't go dynamic with everything right now. Someone's got audio inside. We got someone in the building here. 
No, this is meant to be a horror campaign. Yeah, right here. Just trying to get Op4 to come around. It was a pain in the butt. Oh, that's way too far. I don't want to aggro Blue Handshake, Force. this is Harrier on Freak 3-0, over. Carrier, this is Handshake. Send message, over. This is Harrier. Uh, interrogative, do we know if the government forces are going to fire on us if they see us? Over. Harrier, this is Handshake. Confirm, you said government forces. Over. This is uh, Harrier. We've been shooting rebels and they're in a firefight with someone trying to move up on them and figure out who they're shooting shooting at break. But if they're the government forces, I want to know if they're going to be friendly or not. A firm, be advised, I've not been told by the local government that they're sending anything into what was UN territory. As far as I was told, they're too busy dealing with their own rebel issues as well. Over. Roger, uh, fucking had a brain. I don't know who the fuck these guys are in a firefight with up here then. Is there a friendly position up here? Negative. All UN forces have rallied back to both the airbase and a northern military position break. Uh, it is quite possible that I still have forces stranded. However, no one's checked in on comms, so I wouldn't know. Over. Spooky Here, time. Roger, we're continuing to move. Moving, it is the government, but they they have an ulterior motive. One, don't go into the white smoke. That is not fog. What is it Willie Pete? What the fuck is it? What does that mean? It's caustic. You, you, it's like phosphorus almost. Roger. Stay on the left side here. What the fuck did we get into? <laughs> wide open, don't want to come across anything else floating. Yeah, those are the only four, five, uh, five springboards I had. I don't think they can hear the uh, the growlies over the gunfire. Attention. So we'll see if they caught that or not. I originally made this a tighter area, but there's enough room for you to get up on uh, that position and teleport you out, so. Uh, also be advised, 
by as we get Seaburn geared to our west, north, and south at this time. We're surrounded. We're gonna have to push ourselves northwest from this position because we got smoke in the anomalies. So that's the only one we're gonna see, but they'll be more relevant in this campaign. That's come from the southwest. Yes, yeah, so that's a dish got firing at him from over here. Watch those 40s, we're right here. The enemies have 40s too, so. So at this point, I do need to start setting up phase two. So let me go ahead and get these guys sorted. The only way into that fucking area is into the fucking west. Like, we're gonna have to go around. Not as much. There's uh, that this shit on the other side too. Yeah, but there's an opening right, where the wall is, and there's a fucking southwest. We're gonna have to go there's there. That military compound. Yeah, you guys get guys in the field out to the southwest now. Yeah, you guys in the field out to the southwest and to the northwest and north. Yeah, Roger that. Just engage whoever shoots at us. Uh, Hudson, get down there with uh, Donnie so we don't have all you guys up there. Yeah, we're taking under range, you guys can check out the room. I'm going to stand by and myself. I'll go look at them in a second. I'm just dividing up what I have here, and then the remaining rifleman, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Some of them are headless, yes. 100 bits. Make a viable SCP-096. Yeah, right? I want to see if we can get over to there, to the south, southwest. So the fog effects are client side, by the way. That's why it can be a little tough to see them sometimes. The next contact is the southwest. But yeah, as they're fighting their way out of the town, I'm going to uh, set the rest of that AO up. We got yellow smoke in there. That's probably from this. That ain't looks like these are too far northwest. Almost direct west. They're almost on the uh, uh on the flashlight, so let's get to a secure place and get eyes up. Alright, we got guys coming in through the fucking shanty towns directly north south. 100 meters. Yeah, just took one down. Oh, their smoke is actually a lot more thick than I thought it would be. The drum's been able to push it on his own, okay. Clearing. Handshake, this is Harrier. Harrier, this is Handshake. Send message. This is... Harrier, this is Handshake. You cut off. Over. This is, uh, this is Harrier. We, these guys seem to be using some fucking biological weapons. We're trying to cut through it. We're at the C-130 crash site. There's some sort of weird fucking fire going on behind the C-130. Hey, firm. Uh, do you need backup? Over. We are not going to be able to move. There is a large device coming out of the back of the fucking C-130. I don't know if it's a an engine part or not. Roger, see what you can do to scrap it if you can. Over. Clear. 
Right, the plane's clear. <laughs> he shot him. Team one, this is team two. We've got contact moving in towards us from the northeast. I grabbed some stuff out of that fucking box. Out of a squad. Oh, they're not going to go look up and check the bodies. That's my favorite part about this. How much more or not? Handshake, this is Harrier. Over. I've got some intel. Good. Here, this is Handshake. Send message. Over. No idea. Oh, God. Where did the fuck? Ah, uh, be advised. That's okay. It was just an Easter egg anyway. Someone scrawled a note on the fucking engine part that was... Uh, and he basically just said, get the fuck out of here. He misread the intel, that's fine. Harrier, this is Handshake. A front, be advised, we're dealing with another small attack at the base at this time. Give me one second, over. Harrier copies. This is Handshake. RTB at this time. Over. Roger. Harrier copies. RTB at this time. Let's try to push back the way we came. Let me uh, get some flare going here. Oops. This is Handshake, be advised. I'm able to hold them for now, but the numbers are looking a little grim right now. Break. Hold on, what the fuck was that? This is Harry, are you talking about the earthquake? No, it's... I think I'm fucking losing it, to be honest. Just get back here ASAP. We're doing our best to hold. Over.
Team 2, we're clearing contact from a building we had and we're holding this corner. Alright. Harrier, this is Handshake. Be it got... What the fuck? Okay, I've got multiple casualties every... Anyone check in? Over. Harrier, I I don't have any... Are you out there? Over? This is Harrier, we copy. I... I'm in the Hainer where you guys... We gave the brief. I'm looking outside. Everyone's down. I... Wait. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, no! <laughs> Let's go, we need to keep moving back to base. It sounds like they're getting overrun. Copy that. Shut up, Barb. Last calling station on 3-0, say again, over. They don't stop. They keep speaking. They just keep whispering in your ear. They want something. They want to know why you're here. Why are you here? Why are you here now? Why aren't you here later? Why are you here? Why are you here? I did say they were early last stop. Two, what's your status? Two, took a grenade. We're bandaging up. All right, let's start cleaning house. Do 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 do. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can add the fog anomalies. Yeah. Just to get my uh, particles back. Let's see if that works, because they were uh, pre-placed in zoos, but you never know. Ah, do, 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 do. That's okay if they don't. They didn't really take away too much from the frames. So now I'm going to have a hostile team kind of walk around over here wondering, like... Why the heck is this clear? But that'll also distract them from the issue at hand. This is one B advised. It looks like everyone on the airfield is KIA. I cannot fucking see into the hangar uh, where we were staged from. I yeah. think that's where Handshake is. We're going to move in and try to fucking break, break. There's enemies on the back side of the fucking C-130 pushing in. Team two copies. No, oh, it might have actually worked. We'll know in a second, because again, it's client side based off a of camera, but it looks like it actually got them. Sweet. Alright, again, just uh, you know, let's particle effects for me to have to worry about. Something purple, some purple guy by the hangar. Just ran inside the hangar. Blue, purple skinned or something. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna stick with them locally and see if they, uh, Get it. 
Right, two, we're gonna hold here. I need you guys. Yeah, keep moving the way you're moving. Move up to the hangar and see if you can secure handshake. We're gonna fucking give you as best overwatch as we can. Team two copies. Lots of guys, middle of the runway. Out to your east, straight east. Middle of the runway, out to the east. Here we go. Did you use the Halo mission like that uh, last week? I mean, I we did three four three Guilty Sparks remaster. But if you're talking about a mission like this, I mean, this is like what I'd want to do for the Born Home campaign. Like if I had the expertise two or three years ago, this is how I'd do it. <laughs> you can go ahead and start pushing to your southwest. We gotta get Still got guys on the runway. This is one. We got guys coming up from behind us to the west. We're engaging them. I've got the ARs. So, what I can do to kind of hide. The bodies themselves uh, is if I uh, entering the air base smokes now. down. We'll see if they even notice. Now I can use that to help kind of conceal the fact that they are still technically alive. One, this is two. We are getting contact from the south. Rock. We're entering the hangar now. Drop and flash. Flash out. Ouch. On in left, right. Go, go. Going left. Left is clear. Our friendly down. Mm -hmm. Oh, he does not look healthy. He does not look, look at his face. What the fuck? Let's stay away from him. Friendly's getting back up. They have, uh, they're fucked up. We just had to take out, um, Harrier. Be advised, you and is no longer friendly. Have my fucking team down. We're all fucking down. Shame about those two caught in the middle. They'll respawn in here though, so it's fine. Fucked up. I'm like, half my guys at the entrance of the base, they are probably down. Uh, 
All CBR in are back up. They are look to be dead, and they're get back up shooting. So there's faces, by the way. It's the vampire face. It's the mind flayer uh, face. It's the uh, headless um, face from zombies and demons. It is the two skull faces also from not what they see. This is one. Or one, this is two. We're picking them up and pulling them back into the hangar so we can get them bandaged. Uh, you don't have enough it. time for that. You need to treat them. We're covering you as best we can. All right. Let's. Uh, fuck. A firm. We're going to try to get them picked up. Hold security outside. Where's Van? He's behind me. Once I give him blood, I'm gonna push off of him. So far, so good. Bandaging head. Where is Alpha? We're still up on that. Bandaging head. Uh, he'll pop. He's been out of this. We're trying to cover. Oh, yeah, he's he's right. Right. oh shit! You need to pull that thing, pull that thing. Get that AR over here where I'm at. He ain't got no defense. Fuck you. Back up. I do want to run a few more squads behind them. We got you, Ben. Hang on. Hey, I'm so sorry I haven't been talking. I've been so caught up in this because this is actually really fun. Coming back up. Two's back up. We're moving out now. Roger, come link back up here with us. We've got no comms with any other friendly forces on this fucking island. But we're not using the fucking C-130 to get out of here. Do we want to grab ammo before Copy. we leave? Uh, no, we gotta go. All right. I'll introduce myself in one or two minutes. Copy. We are moving out now. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? All right. Who's ready for shitty accents? I'm gonna wait for the next radio message and I'll cut in. There we we go. are straight to your guys west up this hillside. Be careful in the fucking checkpoint as you push through. Those guys keep getting up. Watch and I'll wait till they keep asking about um, when they ask about stuff. Yeah, I'm having fun, right? It is gonna be a shitty Russian accent. You're absolutely right. Wow.
I can change it to be. Team one, you want us to go ahead and lose a suppress? Okay, I, I don't, I don't care. We're almost there to you now. All right. Let's see what we get here. Because I want to try to make it as smooth as I can. I don't want to force it. We're passing your DMR. Up to you now. Should have intervened when they were leaving then. That would have been better, but that's okay. Ah, uh, I think Drum has the... One of them has an LR. If not, they, uh, they're using SRs and it's fine. I'm mean, with this range. They have the little antenna on the back. Mm -hmm. And some of their mm -hmm. LRs are modified. What's that refugee camp mark? Appreciate it. I have a better way to do it. I'll let that go for another two minutes and then I'll intervene. Right now, they need to make a plan. I'm just waiting for them to tell that plan over net. Guys come from that direction several times. Oh, fuck. Ties out to the northwest, okay. northwest and north. Mm. Trying to make some stuff to make them question the net so I can transition to it. Give it a few seconds, and we'll go from there. Because they can hear the beeps on that net. Inside the compound on the north east northwest side, you guys still got a couple movement over there inside the compound to your west. That frequency. Try that one. I don't know if they'll hear us on that one, though. Last calling station on 30. Say again, over. Back to that frequency. He just called back on that one. Hello? Are we on? 3 2? Uh oh. All right. 
right. Well, I... Introductions are never the best of mine. Uh, Harrier is the call sign that they were using for you, right? The UN? This is Harrier. That's affirmative. If I recall, you guys are the... What was our intel? Uh, the U.S. Delta team that arrived early, right? I mean, it's okay if you don't reply. I can skip that little part. Uh, introductions are not important. Uh, my question is, do you have a place to stay since I just heard the UN nets completely explode? Poor choice of words, I apologize. This is, uh... <laughs> this is Harrier. Say again last, we're in the middle of a firefight. Yes, I'm asking, do you want to get out of the firefight? I can have something pick you up. Uh, how many are you? We have nine fucking bodies. Nine, that would be too much for one of the MI-8s. I have a Chinook. Yeah, get the... get Chinook 2-4 fueled up. Uh, where are you right now, Harrier? We are at 036023 on the southeast edge of Kinsella, between the airport and the fucking town. Alright, uh, get me a map, one of you. Yes, uh, yes, of our country, you idiots. Now, uh, were you listening on those coordinates? Yes, pull them up. He said, uh, southeast of Kinsella. Stand by. and shoot them. I don't care what they look like. Okay. Uh, let's see. How how quickly can we get that Chinook fueled? 15? All right. Uh, what, uh, Harrier, what would be a good, uh, landing site for you? Let's try to keep it away from any major towns. I don't know what these, uh, rebels have and the other things that have been, uh, happening. I want to try to keep this an open area away from any major population centers, if that makes so, any sense. This is Harrier. Looks like there's a military training ground to our north a couple of kilometers that I I don't know if it's occupied or not, though. Otherwise, out to the west of that. Military training compound. Uh, oh, uh, the place. Yes, I don't have that on my map. I think that's on the UN's map. They probably were using that part of the country for their own thing. Can you give me a grid ref? Zero three five zero three one. Zero three five zero three one. Did you catch that? Yeah. Get me a location on there's, that ASAP. There's, there's also a gas station out to the northwest of Kinsella at zero two seven zero two nine. Yeah, zero two seven. That puts it right next to the bridge. Ah, yes, I would stay away from that place. Uh, we had a garrison down there on the, uh, southwestern, right? I got that direction right? Yeah. Uh, don't, don't go near that place. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they have a problem. Uh, we probably want to keep everyone away from that area. I will explain later. Uh, this training ground you said, though, that sounds promising. Probably a lot of open ground right there, and it should be just outside of the town. Let's shoot for that. Uh, how long does the Chinook? No. Sorry, I get tongue-tied. The Chinook. Yes, the thing I just told you to refuel two minutes ago. Uh, 
All right, I can have a Chinook fueled up in about 15 minutes, and if he doesn't figure it out this time, I will go out there and do it myself after I shoot him in the head. Sorry about that. Roger, we will move to the camp and wait for an extraction. What's your status? We're on the other side of the road to you, to the west. We've been engaging contact. Start pushing contact. north back into town. We're going to push through the town and out the other side. Hey, firm, pushing north. Keep eyes out to your northeast. We're being hit That'd in contact. Be pouring in from that direction. 15 minutes, so... All right. I originally wanted to make it here, but they um, they pulled out this direction, so I'm improvising. But, I mean, that's why everyone loved the Born Home incident, is because there was a lot of improv. My new friends, I must also warn you, um, if you see anything waking up after you've shot it five times, just shoot it again like five or six times in the face. Even if it doesn't have a face, then I'm center mass. Uh, there's been some really interesting stuff going on. I'd really like to keep you guys alive to, uh, help us out in our dire straits. But judging by the fact you are still alive in the UN, uh, or not, I would assume... I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'll see you soon. Nah, the C-130 will, it's, this is a plot point, and that'll actually, this'll come back later. Team 1, this is Team 2. We got a truck with a GMG on it. You want us to grab it? Yes. You guys need to get caught up with us. You're separated. Copy that. We're going to grab the truck. So let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Look harder, they're stealth. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. One, we're pushing east to this white smoke. We're going to push through it and try to take out. Copy, I have eyes on you. We're going to push through and get try to get more ammo. Continue pushing north. Do you see that fucking training camp I was talking about? Getting eyes on. Why is this four split? Because some of them wanted to go down and get that, uh... Pay for him. That thing. This is two, uh, or this is one... I thought I was seeing shit before, but we just had a second confirmation. There's These guys are fucking getting back up after they're dead, including... Pay for him. Being headless. Shooting when they don't have a head. Yeah, so, again, so, uh, it's the machine gunners that I took the head away. We found that if you and then these guys are literally skeletons. Down, um, they won't get back up. But it's fun, because you can just, uh, if you, any of them get knocked unconscious, we can just get them up. 
So, do you remember when we did that one-off Purple Man SCP thing with the 506 like four weeks ago? And, and I mentioned in one of the intels that uh, if you don't kill the bodies, they get back up. Bring that Vic over to my position. Uh, like uh, they have them in a pile and if they're like starting to crawl out, you have to shoot them or deal with them. Otherwise, stuff happens. Yeah. Funny how that, uh, funny how I wrote that detail back then, isn't it? Weird. <laughs> Tie my lore together. Yeah, what radar dish? Exactly. See, what's nice about this is it gives them spare ammo. Which they could probably really, really use. I was just blown up. The Leary Cinematic Universe, yeah, right? Whoop! It's like the uh, the androids I had back on Tuesday. You know, I can just heal them if they get knocked unconscious. So they have to go for, like, kill shots. Oh, that was a G, um... That was a grenade launcher guy, then. The LCU. <laughs> you are watching it right now, though, Fireman, when you think about it. if I can get him to run away. Might not be able to, but hey, I'm trying. That guy's been knocked out. See, so now if I really want to mess with him, Take the helmet off. Do we need it? I don't think we're going to need it. I don't think so either, but... Why don't you do? Let's tap him off. Where are we heading back to the south? This is one, we're grabbing mags and then we're gonna start pushing north again. Okay. We're chanting. Why is it every time I follow you I end up fucking doing that voice? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh oh. I just get knocked unconscious. Weird. We're about to push into that spot where you just popped off that fucking grenade. Murphy, good. Bobby. Yeah, I'm in here. Get ready to move north again. Get all the mags you can off these guys. Fuck. Get ready to start these bodies. Seven put it in my backpack, only got three mags for it. There's another one down the ways. There's like four of them here to pick from, Stevens, if you need it. Roger, thanks. 
probably see it. Yeah, I probably got ear running locally. Get fucking this white cloud shit toward direct north, blocking our path. Yeah, we gotta move east. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get ready to move. Uh, let's push back to this road that's on the south side. We're gonna go east and then north. It's more, uh, following one. Coffee. Little patches of death. Copy moving. Off to Vic. Passing some rounds to, uh, Stevens real quick. Managed to find two boxes off some guy. Cheers. Hudson, we gotta go. Over. Roger. All right, let's go. That's not good. They're engaging to the east. Okay. Going low. My point is, I can just keep reviving them. Quote unquote. Copy. Have we one off radio? Have we one off his radio? Disregard. <laughs> Fen behind you. Hey, we just got fucking ran off on by some dude. Start pushing through the fucking. He's got a fucking red skull. Buildings. I don't want to push out in the open against guys who don't stay dead. Let's go, guys. We're getting fucking. He was overweight. I don't, I don't know. Make sure you're double tripping tapping these guys once they're down. Get it a little darker. This is one we push south one more street in preparation to start pushing north. So this this effect isn't just to the UN, this is to everyone when they die. Hilo, I'm gonna warn them about in five minutes, so. Alright, my friends, I hope you are still all alive, if not quite unfortunate. Uh, the Chinook is ready to go. It will come from around the north-ish. Uh, I can only keep it in the air for about 20 minutes. It's such a gas guzzler, but uh, let me know when you are at the LZ and I will go ahead and send it. Roger, it's gonna take a minute. We're having to kill guys several times. Oh, you too? <laughs> I'm glad to know we have the same issue. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
yes, this is the follow-up to the UN IDAP thing. But again, it was never meant to be an IDAP campaign. It was just a one-off at st the stage. Two, what's your status? Uh, we are sitting next to the road. We engaged all the undead or whatever the fuck they are over here. We're looting bodies, getting ammo. I don't know. When I designed this character, I was thinking uh, Far Cry 4. Uh, we do have good eyes. So that's why he sounds a little crazy. So I'll just be periodically adding more. Please tell me y'all didn't leave me. Perfect. Uh, I've got four. Uh, wait, correction. I got seven. I got seven. Yeah, roger that. We need to push west. Our goal is north across the fucking field where you see the fucking bunker towers at. Yeah, stay firm. We are on the hilltop just, uh, to the east of it. How many parts? Uh, four or five. I'm trying to squeeze it to five, but um, I think I only have enough for like four when I think about everything. Do any of you guys have an AK? Okay, for we did just pick up an AK. I was about to call it up to you. So I'm not gonna lie, I literally wrote, I uh, after we did the one-off and started doing Star Wars, when I got annoyed about Star Wars taking like six hours to make permission, I went back, I wrote a full fucking SCP outline for Purple Man, and uh, I used that to build this campaign. And I wrote the outlines for an incident report, and then this campaign is literally that incident report, so... Fun! But, um, as the first mission was called Incident Report 001, this is Incident Report 002. Uh, I'm only gonna do two because it's gonna get more relevant at the end of this op. But let me start prepping the, uh, Chinook here. Oops. This is one we're almost, uh, or we're basically at the walls of the compound. See if you can push in and find a good LZ. Probably more towards the north. Copy that.
Yeah, so they use Zeus Enhanced. There, I gave you one more. Oh, that thing. Okay. C-130. Going over the wall. Yeah, they can, They heard my footsteps. I'm actually pull, uh, pull, uh, called that out. Sorry, I'd seen that last one. Oh, my friend. Sorry. Uh, did I hear one of you say there's actually a helipad there? Would that be usable for an LZ? I just say because sometimes my pilots are idiots. Uh, this is Harrier Unknown. I haven't gotten eyes on it yet. Harrier 2, is it good? Uh, we got the hills to our east. I got straight eyes on it. If uh, we can get defenses up, we can probably hold this position. Roger, let's get 360. We can pop smoke as your helo gets near. It's on the south. Disregard, I'll give you a grid. Stand by. Okay. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hey, get the damn pilots in here. 035029. Did you get that? 035029? Yes, that's what he. Yes, okay, good. Now, where the fuck are the pilots? I already set green for friendly to blue for. Actually, we're not going to do that. No, we'll do, we'll do one, but it'll be close by. All right, my friends. Uh, pilots have been told Chopper is going to spool up in a minute. Uh, ETA will be about 10 minutes, so sit tight. Roger. Off comms one, Mike. for sound bites at this point. One they called out 10 minutes. ETA. Ramble. All right. Now the big spook finale, but I'm going to wait for another four minutes. Hey, Bassbeard. Oh, we're at that level? Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I don't have a, a way to see the viewer count for my interface, so I just assume people are watching. Or they won't. I don't care. My goal is to the players, not necessarily the viewers, but, you know, it's great that you guys are here to come chill. I apologize that I'm not the best of hosts because I get too immersed in my work, but it's just how it is. Let me go ahead and set them to careless hold fire. That is the Chinook I'm selecting, right? Perfect.
All right, let's begin. We'll let the thing spool up first. Just to make sure, you know, it. I don't start the thing and find out that it didn't spool up yet, you know? There we go. I wanted him to land so I could keep it up, but oh well. Okay, why is it not letting them? Two guys from Team One or Team Two have an issue loading. Get that left side gun! Never mind, it's already doing it. Yeah, so load him in last. That was not according to plan. Improv time. Ay, 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 improv time. Hello, are you guys still alive? Hello, hello. We got shot down. We managed to fucking survive the landing, but your pilot Sorry, fucked off. Well. Yeah, where can you find it? Run that fast. <laughs> yes, my people are cowards. It sucks. Okay, where did you go down? He didn't call his direction when he did Mayday, and I do want to get you guys out of there. About 50 feet north of where we fucking had the LZ. 
I'm amazed. <laughs> ah, he only should have made it 20 feet, knowing these guys. But anyway, you don't want to hear jokes right now. All right, let's see. That was uh, north. Um, let's try boats. We can do boats. Okay. Uh, north of you, there should be uh, some water, right? Some 400, 500 meters north. Let's go do... Uh, let's see. I'm reading this right. Top left, bottom right, like they taught me. 035068. Can you make it there? Improv time. Hello, did you did you hear that? Please tell me you're still alive. I, I would hate to lose you. This is Harris at Rogers, 035068 boats. Good, 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 good. Uh they will be sent in any moments now. I just hope I can get them mobilized here, but we should be A okay. on the pilot over to our northeast. Looks like he's hiding behind a rock. <laughs> I love doing that. This is Harrier. I need those grids again. Uh, 035068 is way too far away. 035038. I'm sorry. Did I read that wrong? I might have. I'm, I'm not really uh, vested in... Uh, what is it called? Reading maps. Uh, it'll come back to me. Is that closer? Let's move. Are you... Two, are you ready to move? Yeah, we're up on the hilltop to your north. What the fuck is wrong with these boats? Like, actually, what? That's the real SCP I'm concerned about. This line that's blocking us from the north, we're going to try to look for a, a uh, break in the, in the fence. Like, that's the real SCP right there. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Oh my god, you are literally trash. Are you- <laughs> Where did that go? Okay. Reach, reach, reach. We gotta hold through the fence. Oh, that's hilarious. One Dr. Wondertain's new boat line, yeah, right? I mean, that would be our line Alright, let's move to the compound at 340, uh, the two-story house with the uh, high walls all around it. There's enemies right outside of that compound. One, we got eyes on that boat, zero, one, one. I hope they brought more than one boat. I did send two, but I think I've already established that my people are a little incompetent. They're kind of on edge right now because of all the stupid shit that's been going on. Hopefully he will uh, be up there shortly.
behind us on hill. Yep, run out it. Here's on Vic. I mean the boat. We're making a break for that boat, guys. Let's just keep going. Just hear him yelling, ow! Coming to our east, too. All right. Much better. Welcome to my campaign. There's three missions left. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ven, 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 fuck you. Good God. I haven't laughed that hard in a minute. Who the hell said they can't swim and then immediately got Doritos? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I said maybe they can't swim. I said maybe. Oh my God. You can literally see this thing just appear on the water underneath him just biting his ankles. <laughs> they can swim. Well, swim faster. Oh my God. God, those things are fucking terrifying. Thank you so Absolutely much for watching. Fucking horrific. Go operate operationally. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. We'll be back tomorrow for uh, the new DLC that, that comes out for Armor 3. Awesome. And uh, have a good one.